Hello learners in learning land, Tyler from 10thumbspro.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to play a chord melody version of Free Falling with new ukulele every Wednesday and Saturday. Make sure you hit subscribe if you like this kind of content. As always, I'm going to have all the tabs on the screen making it easy to follow along, but you can get a printable version by becoming a Patreon. Links in the notes. The specific lesson is pinned in the comment section. Let's do it. Grab the ukulele brain attention span, follow me on in, and let's break this classic lesson down. Come on in. Introduction. We'll kick it off. It sounds like this. Intro first sounds like this. And I intentionally started off pretty sparse. So we're gonna kick it off and we're gonna play open C string and then we're gonna pinch the two middle. That is just a major third, which will make sense here in a second. It's a C and an E. We go one and Rest on the two, and then and. And here we're adding the F. The F is what transforms a C into a C suspended four. So that's why we're intentionally using these two notes. So we get one and two and three, four. And then here, it's a little more noticeable. We're gonna pinch, my thumb's doing the G string, and these two are C and E. And then I'm gonna release my index finger and now they're all three open. And then I'm gonna play this shape of a G suspended four. Now some of you are probably thinking that's a nightmare. You could do this. All right, so if we put those four measures up and we transform it, you get something that looks like this where you strum down on the C, um, C sorry, C sus four down and that's pinky on the third fret index on the first remove your index and come up and then make this c g sus four and come up which is o two three three and you can do that we actually will do that later in the song but i think for the intro i do believe that this sounds better and i know this chord's hard but if you can get it, it's the hardest part in the song. So that's kind of good news. I'm gonna stick with these four up. Feel free to play it that way if you want. And then we're going around. Now the harmony picks up a little bit. It's one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and one and and then we go through the same piece again is acceptable if you just do not like this shape i kind of came up with this g sus4 on my own to be honest i like it a lot i'm pretty proud of it so we put these four together and i'll play it the tab way first and then we'll go through it the other way after you get through that last g sus4 it's three on the offbeat open G on the four, then slide three to five with your index finger because we're headed up to the seventh fret. All right, so let's go ahead and play through it. Sounds like this. One, two, three, four. The, the strummer way would sound like this. One, two, three, four. So that's the other option. Then we get into the verse. Let's take a look at the verse. If you're wondering how I did this, I do teach lessons one-on-one. -on -one. You can see my email in the descriptions. Feel free to email me about some times. And I could teach you how to turn a melody into a chord melody, if that was something that you were interested in. Or really anything you want. Okay, so the verse is up. This is our C shape. <clears throat> it looks like a G, but it's way down here. Root note on the E string. 0, 7, 8, 7, with your C note right here. And we can get away with the open G, because our C chord has a G note in it. So 
we're going to strum through all with our thumb all four strings one then we're going to grab the g on the off beat you could strum just three strings one and in fact let's go ahead and do that we're going to go one and but when we get that open g we're going to lift this hand up because it's going to go all the way up here so we're going to go one and two and and on the off beat we're going to play our c sus four zero zero one three now here i'm using index and ring earlier that was because i was going to the g sus four i'm not going to the g sus four so i don't need to use my pinky here one and two and three and four and first fret of the c string open c first fret one and two and three and four and we have another fun chord shape coming up right here so we're going to make that c sus4 again strum through it with our thumb melody is this c note here and pull off with your index finger and then pinch the c and the open c string on the second beat one and two and and this is a C suspended four. Open, ring finger on the seventh fret, pinky on the eighth, index on the fifth. If you've done these with me, you know I use this G shape a lot, which is open seven, seven, five. Same idea, just get that pinky up. All right, so just that second measure, you would get one and two and three and. This is also another G suspended four that I kind of came up with. Bar the, no, when I say I came up with it, it means I didn't really find it in a book, but I'm sure other people have, have used it before. So maybe I came up with it isn't <laughs> the best description. Bar the seventh fret and then get your middle finger on the C string. Now the reason that I think I came up with this one, or the reason I'll say that is because this is just a C. We need to get that D note in it, which is here on the G string. But he's singing the E note, so it's actually almost like a G6 sus4, if that's a thing. Which I'm sure it is, because we're playing it right here. And then make the C chord, because you're going to grab that E note on the offbeat by itself, and one and then strum the c again so that third measure you get one and two and three and four and one so that second measure you would get one and two and three and four and one Then the third measure is a lot like the first one, strum through the C. One and two and three and four and. All right? Put that together, we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, next four measures. You're gonna see here that this one is similar to the fourth measure. Not exactly the same, but similar. We're gonna go with all downs here. So we're gonna make this C sus4 down. C is our melody. Lift the index finger up on the offbeat down. Then play C again on the and. One and two up to our G sus4 and. One and two and. Maybe the hardest change in the song. One and two and. That's another option. You could come up and grab the eighth fret of the E string and then strum this if that's easier because this note and this note are the same notes. You can go one and two and or one and two and. Whatever's easier. And you're going to hit seven. Keep that down. You're going to seven and four. Open G. Slee th th three slide to five to this one. And so that's kind of where this four measure idea starts over. Mm -hmm. 
this measure, it looks similar to the first measure. One and two and three and four and. It's getting darker and darker and raining harder and harder. Okay, so the next measure um, is, it looks familiar as well. One and two and three and four and one. And this last one, also familiar. One and two and three and four and. and that's the seventh measure so far. So these, so these four we get one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right. Now we bring up the next four and you'll see here the one is the first time we play through this verse, you actually play through it two times before the chorus. So that one, after we play those seven we just played, we'll play one, which is the end of the verse, and then we have a little interlude. The two is what you play after you play the second time through the verse on your way to the chorus. So let's just play that under the one. You get one and two and three and four and and then this is familiar. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and do boop. Back to the top of the verse. All right, so now we've played through the verse again and we get to the two. We're gonna make this three. The sus4 one, lift the index finger up through again, pluck the three or G sus4 again. And then you're gonna play seven, 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 eight. 4E on your way to this C shape for the chorus. So just that fourth one would be. All right, why don't we go ahead and play through it like it's the first time going through it, which means we do go through it two times. Later, you're only gonna go through it once. So from the top, one, two, three, four. shaky in that last little verse because when I turned over I automatically went to the one instead of the two so that transition wasn't the best but that's the verse all right so let's take a look at the chorus first three measures of the chorus we're starting off with that familiar C we go one and two and dun, dun, dun. and the only melody note here is that E note And then we get into the actual strumming that we said was an option earlier. We're gonna make that do, do, do. So we're gonna play, well, let's get that first measure down first. One and two and three and four and boom. And while I have my index finger on that first fret, I'm gonna get my pinky on the third fret of the A string. So I'm gonna go down on the C at sus, remove my index and go up on the C, make this G suspended four, which is two, three, three, then go up again to come down on an open G note. So it's one and two and three. One and two and three. Free fall and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna make that G sus four with the E note, seven, seven, eight, seven on the fourth beat. Make it C add nine, fifth fret of the G string with your index or ring finger, middle finger on the third fret, uh, or on the fourth fret of the C, index on the third fret of the E, so it's five, four, three, ring, middle, index, 
pinky on the fifth fret of the high A. Five, four, three, five. And then you're gonna go down to, uh, I just keep my pinky there, down to a C, I strum through it, then I hammer on the F on the offbeat. And they just four, one, two, and three, and four, and. My foot fell, so that was out of focus, sorry. So it's four, well, four, one, two, and three, and four, and. So these three measures, you get one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, four, one, three, and two, two, two. Okay, next part of the chorus. We start off here with our fun strumming. And then we kick it off like we did to get the whole thing started, seven, seven, eight. So it's do, 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 bam, bam, back to our C. So we play through these three and we get bring up the next piece and you'll see that we start off. Then we here we have one and two. And then the one, you'll play this. You go back to the verse one time. So you'll go back, you play the verse again back into the chorus. Now there is another verse in the song, but in, in the finger style version, I just go back to the verse, play the verse one more time, then back to the chorus. So you go back to the verse, play it, then you play through the chorus again, you play playing through the chorus, and your second time through the chorus, instead of playing the one, you're gonna play that two. And this two is going to take you to an interlude and a coda to finish the song. So, Let's go ahead and play through the entire chorus like we are going to go back to the verse. Chorus, like it's the first time playing through it, and we're gonna go back to the verse after it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Let's play it one more time, and this time, like we would be going to the interlude after. So here we go from the top of that. One, two, three, four. We put this interlude up, and it's this is the part that I maybe experimented with the most. There would be a couple ways to play this. The longer I play these, kind of the more I change them up. And this is what I came up with here. I like it, the idea. It's kind of these double stops. You're going to start off and hit the open C string, and then eight and seven. One and two and. You're going to go from there to eight and eight. One and two and. And four and. Then you're going to hit the eight. Squeeze eight and eight, just the eight, and then you're gonna open C. So you get one and two and three and four and one and two and. Next measure, you're gonna play the open C. Seven and eight, open C to the fifth fret. Then you're gonna strum down on this suspended, or this G sus4 on the third beat. So that second measure is one and two and three and four and open hit that eighth fret with your pinky on this e string open g and hit that eighth again so it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and and the next time through though 
that melody is the fifth fret. After that, you're going to hit the open G and then eight hammer 10 on your way to this. Now, this C shape is the first note in the verse and in this coda. So here, if you wanted to, and you wanted to squeeze that fourth verse in, you would do it right now. Or you can just jump into the coda right here. And we're just going to jump into the coda. The fourth verse seems a little excessive for these instrumental versions. Sometimes when they have a lot of verses, I'll, I'll chop them down just a little bit. We play through the interlude one time, we get one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and a one. Again, that's either the start of the fourth verse or the coda, and we're jumping into the coda. So let's take a look at the coda. This is tricky because I'm combining two voices here. You got Tom going free falling, and then the background band going free falling, yeah, we're free falling. And I did my best to kind of combine them into one idea. So we'll start off, strum through this C, then down on the two beat. One, two, and. So strum down on that C and get your pinky on here. It's the same shape as this G sus4. So it's a C sus4. Play that pinky and then down with your thumb, zero, seven, eight, eight. Then up on the eight again. So you get one, two, and three, and four, and one. Strum down on it again with the eight, release it up, and then grab the seven. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and fifth fret, and down on the G, no melody, index finger, and five to the free fall in, which is probably my favorite part in the whole melody. So that second measure would be one, and two, and three, four, one, two, and three, two, and three, up here again, four, and one, and those first two measures, let's just do that nice and slow. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, and three, four, and one, and. So we make it to that fourth measure now. So that third measure, nice and slow, would be just be that start off, fall, in, strum through that with your index finger, no melody on the third beat, up to that sus chord up here, one, and. Fourth measure, index finger, no melody, down, lift up the pinky, grab it on the and, and, then nothing on that two, right into the five, and then strum down on the chord again, and one, no melody, but five again on the and, and down to this G here. And that's three, three. So let's jump through with your thumb and then grab it with your index finger after or your thumb again. So these four measures, nice and slow, would be one, two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, one, two, and three. Four and one and two and three and four E. All right, that happens just like that again. Comes up and you play it the exact same, except after going through that G sus at the end, you're gonna lift everything up and strum through a C. So the next four, nice and slow, would be one, two and three and four and one and two and three and four one two and three four and one and two and three and four e one let's play through the whole interlude nice and slow And that would be how you finish the song.
confession between you and I, if you made it to the end of this lesson, congratulations. I want to be totally honest with you. I've always fantasized about playing this song while skydiving. Free Fallen? Get it? Okay, so thank you so much for learning with us. Check out these lessons. If you like this one, you like these ones as well. And I'll catch you next Wednesday or Saturday for ukulele, Monday for guitar. Life is good. Think about becoming a Patreon. It's cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. And it will accelerate your learning. Have a lovely day. Take care. Rock and roll. Free falling. Free falling.